A few years ago, or many years ago, I read a volume called The Invention of Tradition by mm -hmm. Hobsbawm and, I think, Ranger. Yeah. One of the essays in that treated Scottish traditions. The kilt was invented by an Englishman called Rawlinson, and the Tontons mm -hmm. had nothing to do with the clans. But one of the key things was, I think, the visit of George the Fourth. Um, to Scotland, where I think your man Scott was in charge. But I wondered if you were going to mention that, but you didn't. And I wondered what relevance you would ascribe to that. Um, well, I think it was... Uh, he w Scott was a key um, figure there. He was sort of the, the master of ceremonies in a way, and he did orchestrate the whole visit of George IV. Um, I think... I think, though, he knew very much what he was doing. You know, I think that he was very well aware that he was manufacturing an image, and then that visit actually shows that th that kind of self-consciousness, um, it was a pageant. Uh, and he... It was almost like... It wasn't like he was really bringing Scotland to life there. It was like he was bringing one of his novels to life. And that's why I think that he was kind of aware of it as, as a pageant. He was putting on a show, and George IV apparently loved it. So he got his kilt on and was out there marching with the rest of them. So I think that's kind of Scott at his, at his most Scott-like. 